the arrival of July, we want to get some regular updates from the field about how the corn and soybean crops are doing so far. WCI 3's Ag reporter Stu Ellis visits a farm near Mount Pulaski in this morning's report from the farm. And good morning to you. We certainly want to do start doing some crop updates because of a very challenging year this year. And we're on the uh, Logan County farm of uh, uh, Doug Martin. And Doug, uh, uh, you've got some good looking corn here. I've seen a lot of worse looking corn because of of uh, moisture. Uh, how much moisture have you had on this field? Uh, not very much. So we had an inch and four tenths here about a week ago. But prior to that, if you would have come out here and done this interview two weeks ago, it looked pretty, looked like a field of pineapple. It was rolled up pretty good and, and starting to show signs of stress. But uh, that rain came just in the nick of time around here. So. Um, and this was our last planted corn planted on May 12th, so it's uh, not as big as some of our first planted stuff, but it's starting to really turn the corner and look good, but we're needing another rain. Okay. What sort of nitrogen you got on here? Uh, so this farm, uh, it's got 100 pounds anhydrous put on, uh, and then we come back with a little bit of uh, 28 and ammonium thiosulfate with our chemical. And then we just, uh, about 10 days ago, put on a product called uh, Inhume we use. It's a... Uh, it's a ammonium type nitrogen that's in the amino acid form that the plant soaks right up. So, um, supposed to be a pretty efficient way of, of doing things. So, any other biologicals of any kind? Yep, we've got a product that we make uh, that's uh, we're putting on with the planter. It's got several different things in it, and I have to look at the list to get it to you. But it it's improves the the uh, biology of the soil, you know, in a nutshell, and makes the soil healthier, and, and in turn gets us a better healthier plant. Any disease or insects that you've seen? Not yet, but that's that's probably on the list to, to do after the 4th of July here. You know, the early planted corn is starting to shoot some tassels, so everybody's kind of got their guard up for tar spot this year uh, and gray leaf spot and all that stuff that comes. So, and I think most people in this area have got a fungicide trip planned. Um, we'll see if that turns into fruition, but, uh, you know, I think we're going to start scouting corn pretty good probably next week. So. All right. All right, we appreciate uh, comments from Doug Martin uh, out toward Mount Pulaski. That's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA 3, your local news leader.